Welcome back to The Ed Show. Mitt Romney trying to convince South Carolina voters that he knows all about creating jobs. But in reality, all he knows how to do is make the wealthy a little bit richer. As head of Bain Capital, Mitt Romney was focused on making money for his investors, even if it meant destroying companies and eliminating jobs. One of Romney's targets was the Georgetown Steel Mill in South Carolina. Bain Capital bought Mill's parent company, GS Industries, for $24.5 million. Its investors ultimately walked away with $58.4 million, doubling their investment, better than that. But Bain left the company in massive debt. GS Industries ended up cutting 1,750 jobs and filing for bankruptcy, count them, twice. The Georgetown Steel Mill was eventually bought by another company and is in operation today, but with fewer employees. Romney's campaign explained his involvement with the South Carolina plant in the following statement. Bain Capital invested in many businesses. While not every business was successful, the firm had an excellent overall track record. These experiences give Mr. Romney unique skills and capabilities to do what President Obama has failed to do, focus on job creation and turn around our nation's faltering economy. I'm joined tonight by Dr. James Sanderson, president of the United Steel Workers Local Union 7898 in Georgetown, South Carolina. Mr. Sanderson, good to have you with us tonight. This, we keep hearing these stories about Bain and Mitt Romney's involvement. Uh, what can you tell us about this? What happened here? What does the public, in your opinion, need to know? Good evening, Ed Schultz. The first thing I'd like to say is good evening to everybody in the labor movement, the brothers and sisters that also understands the dilemma that we face here in South Carolina. South Carolina has over 10% unemployment right now and we are very much in need of jobs and to hear Mitt Romney running around this state talking about that he's a job creator is very disturbing and is not true he does indeed like to fire people like he already said we go back to 1997 whenever Bain Capital become very much involved with our plant at Georgetown Steel and he basically just took a lot of profits, assets away from our company and forced it into bankruptcy. Well, Mr. Sanderson, explain South Carolina to us. If we look at the polls today. This story over the last three days does not seem to be hitting uh, or hurting Mitt Romney's the campaign at all. In fact, he's moving forward. What about the people of South Carolina? Are they concerned about jobs? Does this story the, not resonate with absolutely. them? Absolutely. Yes, the good working people of South Carolina are very much concerned about jobs. But they're not very much in tune to the media the way that they are informed here in this state. They have such a whisper campaign when it comes to the media as far as what the working people are told on the news that it's hard to really find out exactly what is going on. Just to give you a good example, if you were to go into this state and go to every Walmart and stop the customers going in and ask them what do they think right to work law means, you'd be shocked to find out that 95% of them wouldn't even know what it means. And then to hear him spin Boeing as if the right to work law had something to do with the NLRB charge is frightening and playing upon the people's lack of knowledge when it comes to labor law. Why is and it I'd say well, 75 to. Yeah, I, I have to ask you why is it such Republican territory if this is the case? Because of the way that they have controlled the people in this state. I think the reason why we are last in education is by design. They do not care for people to be educated in this state. Knowledge is power. And once people become educated, then they can make the decision for themselves. But you keep, but if you keep the people uneducated, then it's easy to control and put them in the direction that you wanted to control them to. Well, what about the governor's support? This, this is uh, Nikki Haley talking about uh, the uh, def actually defending Mitt Romney's record at Bain. Here it is. I am proud of all of our Republican candidates. I am proud of the people that have taken the time to come and campaign in South Carolina. But we have a real problem when we have Republicans talking like Dem Democrats against the free market. We believe in the free market. This was a man that worked in the private sector 25 years, not in the government sector, in the private sector 25 years, and he fixed broken businesses. We've got a broken Washington that needs to be fixed. Is the thinking down there going to change? 
I feel that once the people are becoming more engaged and understanding exactly what's going on, I think you'll see a different trend. Is she an but asset like to Governor Romney? Nikki Haley, Is she an asset to Romney? I know. No, I do not think that she will be an asset to Romney. I think she's going to hurt Romney. Does this because her? Does going, this? I mean, I mean her all, going into office. Go ahead. Go, all right. When she took office, she basically declared war on the labor movement here in South Carolina, which represents less than 5% of the workforce. We have two ports here in South Carolina that needs to be dredged. And out of the eight federal legislators that we have in Washington, we only have two that's representing us in that fight. And that is U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham and Congressman Jim Clyburn. Those two, if it had been left up to them, we would have already had our yeah. ports dredged in Charleston and Georgetown. Do you see any political shifting going on? I mean, the way people think. I mean, uh, how does this affect people that are, 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 are affected by these facts? I think this is very good. I think this is very good and healthy for the state of South Carolina. A lot of people are asking questions, and a lot of people are understanding exactly what's wrong. That's why the governor, Nikki Haley, called some of the Republicans running for office Democrats. Well, what she was letting people know the Republicans that she called Democrats understand yeah. what the real problems are that the state of South Carolina is facing. James Sanderson, good to have you with us tonight. Nikki Haley at 34% hey, overall in South here. Carolina. You bet. Good to have you with us. I appreciate your time.